I personally am getting kind of sick at all these cervix cases, so I'm very happy to tell you this is the second to the last one. I think you could recognize it as cervix. I could think you could see a bunch of endocervical glands. I think you could see the straight edge here is the cut area. I think you could see some surface squamous epithelium here, which looks very, very dark and like there's no maturation whatsoever. So even at this power, I know you're suspicious for squamous cell carcinoma in situ. And this is exactly what it is. It's a surface squamous epithelium that uh, has no or very little or theoretically no maturation. The cells are big, they're dark. And this brings up a very important point. In the old days, pathologists used to sit around at the table and prove how smart they are, or mostly how much smarter they were than the other friends that they have. So we would look at a case like this and half of us would say severe dysplasia and the other half would say squamous cell carcinoma and fight situ. And then we would fight to see who the smartest person was. And then some joker came around and says, look, you're both right. Let's not quibble about details. Let's call this CI. N3, which really encompasses both severe dysplasia as well as squamous cell carcinoma in situ. And this made everybody happy. And then they were friends again and they didn't fight anymore. But just to show you how subtle this differentiation could be, when you look at an area like this, you could see really bizarre irregular epithelium apparently no or very, very little maturation. Most people would call this carcinoma in situ. Notice it is not invading or involving the underlying endocervical gland. However, if you were to look at other areas like this, you would say, well, this looks pretty nasty, but there still is some superficial flattening out or maturation of the cells. So I would prefer to call this severe dysplasia, and I will allow you to call this squamous cell carcinoma in situ. So no matter what you want to call it, this is all severe dysplasia, also called CIN3, also called high-grade SIL, but in this case, we're looking at it on a biopsy rather than on exfoliated pap cells. Thank you.